You should watch Get A Life All Right because it's everything you'd want in a romantic drama. Plus, it has the added bonus of a few musical numbers that will stay in your head for days. It's Australia's first diverse indie film of its kind, led by an incredible team of talented women. Check it out. You should go and see Get A Life All Right because it's a movie about love. It's a movie about friendship. It's a movie about family. It's a combination of all three with great direction. So do go and check out Get A Life All Right. Hi, I'm Dilshan Rain and I play Adash. And what I like the most about being part of this was that it's the first of its kind. Uh, there hasn't been anything like this done before in Australia. And to be part of something that's a trailblazer and it's the first of its kind and how unique it is, that's always a good thing. What I hope people get out of this is that uh, the key message, what I would say, is uh, love. You know, whether it's fraternal love between the uh, two brothers or romantic love, it's love conquers all. And I think that's the key message. What I hope people get out of this, uh, what they take away from it, um, I hope it entertains you and it puts a smile on your face for the rest of the day. I mean, that's, that's what movies are about. It's escapism and it's entertainment and I hope it entertains. Thank you. Hi, my name's Amelia Conway and I played Nancy Neven in Get A Life All Right. So Nancy is the stylist to the stars. Uh, she's only a small part of the film, so um, yeah, you have to keep an eye out for me, but it was a lot of fun to play. And I was very, very grateful and thankful to Joy for uh, letting me be a part of the film and taking care of us like she did. Uh, you know, she's really dedicated and passionate about everything that she does. And, you know, she really puts her heart and soul into her projects. And I think that that shows. Um, it, it's a beautiful little film. It's, you know, it's lighthearted. It's a, uh, there's romance, there's comedy. Um, it's got a great mix of actors from all different backgrounds. Um, the lovely star of the film, Satish, he's absolutely such a sweetheart. And it's really nice to see the film doing well and shining some light onto his talents. And also his um, co-star, Avril, as well. She's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So it's really lovely to see, um, you know, the fil film doing well. And, and hopefully people can uh, see some more of their fantastic work, as well as the whole rest of the, the cast as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful film. So lighthearted and funny. Just, you know, I think we need that kind of stuff right now. A lot of things tend to be a bit heavy. And um, it's just nice to watch something with a bit of music and a bit of love and a bit of silliness and um, yeah, not have to take everything so seriously all the time. So yeah, definitely get out and see Get A Life All Right if you can support Australian cinema because we really need to support each other. If we want more films to be made here, if we want more work, if we want to grow our industry, the best thing we can do is go and buy a ticket. Um, that's the best way to show you know, the powers that be that we want more Australian film. So buy a ticket, put your bum in the seat, go see the film, and um, we hope that you enjoy it. Thanks, bye. Hi, my name is Yannick Laurie. I'm an actor, as you can probably tell by the blue screen that's behind me. I play the character of Ross Taylor in Get A Life All Right. He's the guy that directs the musical soap opera, which is the place where our two protagonists meet. Uh, what I really loved about working on Get A Life All Right was the fact that there was such diversity within the cast, and not only in terms of age and cultural heritage, but also uh, in terms of experience within the industry. So there were some of us that uh, have been at drama school and been out in the industry for about like 17, 18 years, like me. And then <laughs> there were some, uh, including our very talented lead actor, uh, Satch Kala, who plays Nick Singh, uh, who I think this was his first film. And it was so great to be able to sort of, you know, learn from each other whilst we were on the set. Um, I really hope that people will take away from this film uh, the fact that the message is really about kind of celebrating diversity and also about, also about um, subtle mental health issues that um, many of us will face during our lives and I love the fact that that was able to happen within a context of not being heavy um, but also kind of like being light and uh, allowing levity into the process but not taking our eye off these important messages and what I hope that people will take away uh, amongst many things is some very very memorable and catchy songs that will be in your head for a long time afterwards. Enjoy the film! Hi, I'm Belinda Delaney and I play Shauna, the casting director on Get A Life Alright. 
What I loved most about working on this film was the friendly atmosphere on set and how great all the cast and crew were. And one thing working with Joy is that the time you're given on set, the time you're told is the time you get. She's very organized and keeps a very strict, runs a very tight ship. The key message for me from the film is never give up on your dreams. Whether they're dreams of love or career, never give up on your dreams and never let the bullies hold you back. I hope people take away from the film that there is a place for all races, all genders and all ages on screen and set. Do you want to laugh, cry and feel all the feels while watching a film? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then Get A Life Alright is that film for you. In all seriousness, this is a beautiful film that's been made with lots of love. It's got an amazingly diverse cast and crew. And honestly, it's just a great film to watch with family and friends. It's super entertaining. And by watching it, you'll be supporting local Australian content. So check it out. What I loved about working on Get A Life All Right was having the privilege to see the work from all different departments come together to make this film and to be lucky enough to be a part of that in some small way. I think one of the key messages of the film is on love and how love can be within our lives in different types of ways from new young love to the dynamics of family love and also there's a strong message of hope uh, with a key feature being that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I hope people take away from this film the sense that they've been in a new world for a little while, a bit of an escapism um, from their own lives, and that they are happy to enter into this zany journey with us.